Hey, I wanted to take a couple minutes and just talk about this thing called a Discovery Bible Study. You may have heard me mention this in a, a sermon or in a conversation, and I wanted to explain what Discovery Bible Studies are because they're a powerful tool to help people discover who Jesus is. Discovery Bible Studies are happening around the world. They're really a part of a disciple-making movement. So it's, it's pretty incredible what's happening around the world with these things. And I think the power of this is that it's so simple. You don't have to have a seminary degree or be an expert on a passage or a book or whatever. Anyone really can facilitate this. The uh, Discovery Bible Study works this way. It's basically um, focused on helping people discover Jesus in three ways. So the head, our heart, and our hands. And so part of a discovery Bible study is, is just our head. Someone will read a passage of scripture and you, you predetermine what passage you're gonna look at. It works really well to look at a story of, in the gospels, a story about Jesus or the parable of the good soils or something like that. And someone will summarize it. And then there are three basic questions. And I'm gonna talk through these questions. The first is, what does this passage say about God or about Jesus? Second question, what does this passage say about us, about humans, about us? And, and the third question is, what will you do this week to put into practice something that you've learned from this passage? Okay, so that's the basic format. So let me go into a few more details. I, I invited just some guys I play golf with to do a discovery Bible study. This is not, I'm not the expert here. We're just gonna be looking at a passage of scripture and we're gonna be just asking some questions about it and hoping to better discover who Jesus is. I told them that was what we we're gonna be doing. Then each time you, you meet, as it talks about in this, this bookmark, you can just start with some icebreaker questions, right? Uh, what are you thankful for uh, since the last time we met? What are some struggles or needs or concerns? So once you've done the icebreaker stuff, then you just jump into, first of all, you read the passage. You have someone in your group read the passage. The first time we met, I had everyone in the group, I just showed them how to download the um, YouVersion Bible Bible app. So we were all reading the passage from the same version. And so that's something you can do, show people how to have the Bible on their phone or whatever. And uh, so you've picked the passage when you're facilitating. And so have someone read the passage and then have them read it again or someone else read it again. So the passage gets read two times. And then you have someone in the group just retell the passage in their own words. Sometimes people will start to interpret what the passage means. Well, I think what Jesus is saying is, and you need to just gently direct them, all they're doing is retelling the story. So if it was the parable of the, good, the four soils, well, Jesus told the story um, about four soils. And the first soil, this is what happened. And so, so you're really just having someone in their own words um, retell the passage. It's just another way of interacting with the passage. And then when they're done with that, you can just ask, is anyone, was there anything left out, anything you'd add? Okay, once the passage has been read in that way, then we go to the three questions. First question, what does this say to us about Jesus or about God? And you just ask the question and people begin to answer that. Sometimes people will go on tangents. Your goal is, as a facilitator, your job is to get, just say, hey, let's keep focus on the passage. What does the passage say to us about God? Then the second question, once you feel like that question is done, second question, what does this passage say to us about us, about humans? If it starts drifting off, you just bring it back. Just keep directing people back to the passage. And as a part, as a, the end part of that section, what I like to do is just say, is there anything that's resonating in your heart from this passage? And then the third general question we ask is, what, basically, how can you specifically live this out this coming week? And so what we do is have every person articulate an I will statement. I will spend 10 minutes every day praying to God. I will try to love people the way Jesus did, whatever. So they come up with an I will statement. It's something that um, the next week when you meet, this is part of the icebreaker part, then you can go around and just ask people, hey, how did you do with your I will statement? How did that go? 
Maybe it didn't go well, did go well. It's not guilt, it's just about we're discovering and we're getting people to apply the word. So everyone does an I will statement. So again, then the next week when you gather, you can start with the icebreaker. What are you thankful for? What, any challenges? And then before you jump into the next passage, the new passage, you ask this question, how did we do with our I will statements this week? And everyone shares how they did with their I will statement. So that's basically how to do a Discovery Bible study. Again, it is super simple. You can do this in your Bible study with other believers. You can do this with people who don't go to church, who don't know who Jesus is. It's such a simple thing. You could, students, you could do this at, over the lunch hour in the cafeteria with some, some friends. There are so many different contexts because it is such a simple process. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'd love to encourage you and talk more about Discovery Bible Studies. Thanks.